In my previous video, I've shown you how to change sequence settings to match clip in Premium Pro. And I got a question, how do you know which editing mode to select? I think it's a very important question that I missed in my previous video. In my previous video, I've mentioned that you could get the frame rate, the video size and the audio using the metadata of that clip. But I never mentioned how to get the editing mode. So in order to get all these informations, including the editing mode that's most suitable for your footage based on the camera that you have used. All you got to do is to create a new project and here you can see there are no sequences in the timeline panel. So if you would drag and drop your clip on this timeline, then Premium Pro automatically will create a sequence based on your clip's metadata. You could easily find the sequence detail by clicking on sequence and then selecting sequence settings. Then you could see all the sequence settings that Premium Pro has created based on your clips metadata and the camera that was used. And that's why I get an editing mode of DNXHR UHD. You could take a snapshot of this sequence settings and then create your own sequence setting based on this data. Now, if you would drag another clip on the same timeline, then Premium Pro would not match or change the sequence settings in order to match the second clips if it is different. So in order to get the sequence settings of a new clip that you have filmed using a different camera, for example, then you need to click on the file, click on new, select sequence, just select any of the sequence presets and then click on OK in order to create a new blank sequence. Now, if you will go and drop another clip on this blank new sequence, you should get this warning saying clip mismatch warning. And then if you would select change sequence settings, this would then change your sequence settings to match the sequence settings of the metadata of the clip that you have just added. So again, if you click on sequence and then click on sequence settings, you could see it uses a different editing mode and a different preview file format along with other different sequence settings. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please don't forget to subscribe to support my channel. You can find my other videos in here. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below.